a little bit less windy than it was yesterday, which is going to be what we want for the sort of weather because we are going to do a cinematic shots. We're a place called Salton Sea Beach. I was last here, I think it was about 2010, when I filmed using a, a cheap Canon DSLR and I've got some really lovely stuff. I've always wanted to come back, uh, especially with drones, and see what I can get. So it's, uh, it's very run down, it's sort of like an abandoned town. I think we're going to start over here. There's, there's lots of bits and pieces to have a look at. Let's try and go through the different types of moves we can get. The crane shots, the jib shots, and then the really much more creative shots. Inside my man bag here, I have two spare batteries. I think I have six more in the car, two to start me off. I don't want to use up all my batteries in one spot. We are going to move around. Uh, also liquids, suntan cream, and the essential medium format DSLR. I just like to take photos as well. I've got an ND16 on again. Uh, it's incredibly bright here, so with polarizer, so it should bring up the nice blues of that sky. Take off. Very simple shot, very basic control. That shot was about 15, 20 seconds long, which is too long for one shot. So always remember the length of a shot. Normally a, a shot, like a pan, is about five, six seconds. But you don't want to like make all of your drone shots really fast. So don't always pick these big moves. Do these big moves and they can be used, but try and find short moves as well. And the shortest moves that you can cut in are those statics. You don't always need to move the camera. Now what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to come through that broken side here. Line of sight, always line of sight. But it has cars in the background now, which isn't quite so nice. So what I could do is point this way and move diagonally backwards. A little bit trickier. I like that shot much better. That's nice. Let's come back and do a static. A bit higher. Establish what this is. There we go. Static shot. I like this armchair just here. Let's have a look at what we can do with this. I'm just going to do a, a tracking shot. So just along here, and just to reveal this random armchair just perched there. I like the shadow we got going on there as well. I think I need to go the other way because the, the chair is, is sort of pointing in this direction. It feels slightly awkward when I get to it. I feel like this should end up on the right of frame. Let's try that one more time. So we're gonna do an establishing jib shot. We can do a high to low and a low to high, just without having to set up a big crane. Let's do that now. So, always watching out for the shadow of your drone, so be aware of where the sun is. And also be aware of electricity pylons, don't want to run into those. I'm going to start here and then take off and tilt down slightly to reveal. Not a big shot, just a small shot. Doesn't always have to be big shots. I can easily do a 30, 40 second crane shot of this, but you're never going to use it. Make it six, seven, eight seconds. Let's give that a try. So I'm up high. We're going to move back out of the shot here. 
Got a bit of the water in frame there, which is what I want. Let me come a little bit further back. Right into the sun, miserable for me. There it is. Okay. And there we go. Small move, let's do another one. A little bit tighter to start with. There we go, tilt down and up we go. Now imagine that with the character walking in and you got a more interesting shot. So here we go, I'm gonna walk in. to my new holiday home. What a lovely spot. Do you like it? I picked it out for you. So what I'd really like to do now is get some really, I want to try and fly through there and out of that. I'm not going to do that with the strain is too big. So I'm going to switch over to the smaller one and see what I can get. If your drone has a slow down mode, a way of slowing all your controls down and speed down for this sort of stuff, then do use it. If you are flying indoors, you aren't going to get GPS. So hopefully there's either no wind or you've got some sensors or cameras underneath your drone. Like this one here has a vision positioning system, so it is able to stay in place indoors. This edit gives us a lot of atmosphere but it is lacking any motivation. We need to start seeing people. Whilst that shot of me sat down on this scuzzy armchair was cool. What's better is if there's a motivation to the shot. Motivation means something which is driving the movement. And this should be the same for all shots that you do with movement, whether it is a slider, a tripod, a drone, a gimbal. Have something which is moving in the shot, which is driving that movement. That was me sat down. It was quite a nice shot. It was, it was sort of like a, a crane shot, a nice big techno crane style shot. But what's gonna be better is if we get Sarah to walk along and sit down. Basically repeat that move, but have her driving the shot. <laughs> 